Pradam Mukherjee was once described as former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi as a man for all seasons. True to the description, the former Congress stalwart has in his decades-long career risen from a clerk to the president, handled four different ministries working 18 hours a day, proving that there is nothing that he cannot do. No challenge was too great for this tall man with a petite frame. Born on 11 December 1935, Pranam Mukherjee was the son of a freedom fighter from Birbhum in West Bengal. He earned degrees in history and political science as well as a law degree from Calcutta University. He started off as a professor at a small college and subsequently started editing a Bengali language monthly periodical and then a weekly paper. It was in 1969 that he ran for public office for the first time, winning a Rajya Sabha seat from Bangla Congress, which merged with the bigger Congress party later. He was a protege of Indira Gandhi, who installed him as the finance minister in 1982, before which he had proven himself as a junior minister with independent charge of revenue and banking departments, making headlines with a crackdown on Bombay underworld Don Haji Mastan. After Indira Gandhi's assassination, Pranab Mukherjee had a fallout with her son Rajiv Gandhi, launched his own outfit for a while, but reconciled and was back in the Congress by 1989, along with his group. Mukherjee held most of his important ministerial portfolios under Narasimha Rao and Manmohan Singh as the Prime Ministers. He has handled commerce, external affairs, defence and his favourite, finance, which is where he started and ended his career before being elected the President in 2012. In fact, Mukherjee was overlooked for the Prime Minister's post in 2004 by the Congress when Sonia Gandhi declined the Prime Ministership and nominated Manmohan Singh instead. Throughout the UPA-1 government, however, Mukherjee remained the main troubleshooter, being the head of at least 42 empowered groups of ministers at one time. As a president, he remained involved in the affairs of the country and even when he stepped down, he has been active in public engagements. He was honoured with the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honour in 2019, for his exceptional service to the nation.